here with John Carroll from Northfield Mount Hermon. John, thanks for being here. Glad to be here. Uh, good, uh, good matchup today, Brimmer and May. What, uh, what are your thoughts, John, on today's, uh, today's matchup? Yeah, I mean, first things first, we start with Tom Nelson. He does a great job with his kids. He cares about them tremendously. He gives them great support, emotionally involved in their lives. Uh, he does a great job with the program. Uh, front court, they're, they're, it's their strength. They got Gasparini going to American. Uh, terrific player. Really like him a lot. And a, and a, and a you know, very great compliment. I feel like he's an NMH kind of player. Uh, Fontaine does a great off job on the offensive boards. Right. And then uh, A.J. Reeves, the number one ranked player in the so a sophomore class. Sure. So, um, you know, they're terrific. I think uh, they're going to be really do a great job in double A. And, uh, you know, anytime you play against a Coach Nelson team, uh, you know, it's always a game. Right. Yeah. Now, uh, in terms of 15, 16 for you guys, mm -hmm. uh, what, what are the expectations uh, going into the year in terms of just roster, overall feel? What are, what are you looking for this year? Yeah, I mean, we're the youngest team in our, in our team and uh, in our school in our league's history with 13 underclassmen. Okay. Uh, with that, it's always a wild card as far as how quickly they can kind of gain experience and play like older players. Sure. Uh, we're fortunate in the sense that we have two great leaders in, in Ian and AJ and it's just there. Uh, four-year kid for us, A.J. Broder in his third year going to University of Pennsylvania. Right. Those guys provide two different styles of leadership. Ian's a vocal guy. A.J.'s much more of a uh, lead by example. Yeah. Uh, so we'll see how it turns out. The, the goal every year is to be one of the last teams playing, or play on the last day of prep school basketball, sure. and that's always at Adams' event, the national championship tournament. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we've done that for the last six years. So that's our goal again this year. Uh, but what always stays true for us is the process, just being a better team every day on a daily basis, and whatever right. happens at the end happens at the end. How, how underrated is that experience factor at, at your level, having kids that have been through the wars, yeah. um, you know, as, obviously as opposed to the younger guys that haven't really experienced those tight situations? And Yeah, I mean, you can't experience St. Thomas more without actually having the experience. Uh, you can't actually understand or portray what it's like to play a Brewster without having to play a Brewster. Sure. So having nine guys back uh, from a team that's done it, uh, having a guy like Ian who's done it four years, uh, it's a huge advantage. Sure. So it's something that we really pride ourselves on, having these multi-year guys. Uh, this year we have 18 guys on our roster, only one's a post-grad. Every single other player has been a multi-year guy. Right. Uh, last year we had 16 guys on our roster, nine came as freshmen. Right. That's really how we're able to compete with these really high-level, talented teams. The uh, what we wanted to mention and, and, and have you uh, you know talk about is the Hall of Fame experience. Yeah. Um, obviously, congratulations. You. Can you can you tell the viewers what that was like? Uh, you know, in terms of uh, what it was like for you. Yeah, I mean, I think it's it's a basketball is an unbelievable fraternity, and whenever you can get an uh, you know an honor like that, it's it's humbling. It's you know you feel uh, uh, great pride in what you've accomplished up until your you know in your career to that date. Sure. Um, you know, the next table was Coach Jones from Yale. Mike Martin and I broke some bread together at that event. Right. Uh, you know, it's just it's just a reminder of how great the fraternity is in, in, in uh, basketball. Right. Uh, the uh, the next section, John, uh, we call it five and five. Right. So it's a little more rapid fire. Um, you know, one word, one one sentence answers. Who's the most basketball savvy player that you've coached? First name that comes to mind. Spike Albrecht. Wow. No question about that. Uh, what rule change do you think is needed, if you think there is one needed at the prep level? I think this is universal FIBA. We should all go to FIBA rules. FIBA. Yeah. Uh, who do you look forward to coaching against the most in the NEPSAC? Yeah, all, all the coaches in AAA. I mean, that's... Every time. Yeah, all the coaches. <laughs> I have more to say about it, but that's yeah, no, know, yeah, all the yeah. coaches in AAA. Uh, looking, if you're looking for a set, which college and or pro coach and or any coach do you, are you looking? Are you popping the tape? Uh, half court set, John Bayline. Uh, special teams, Bob McKellar at Davidson. Uh, what is what's the hardest thing about being a coach at the prep school level? And I know it's hard in one answer, but yeah, I think uh, you know total commitment. Uh, you kind of take over the parental role in a lot of a lot of senses. So beyond being a coach, you're also a parent. Many so it's a, it's a coach, uh, life coach. That's right. Everything, everything yeah. all wrapped into one. That's right. I mean, these are 16 to 20, you know, in our case, 14 to 20 year olds, and uh, you know, having that responsibility of not just uh, producing victories. Right. I mean, that's not what we're doing here. It's really 
about creating young men. Right. Yeah. Uh, well, John, thanks so much for, for, sure. for doing this. Uh, before we, uh, I know you got a game coming up here quick. Just uh, for those that want to follow Northfield, yeah. uh, what are the best avenues to do so? Yeah, there's four main places. We're on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at NMH Basketball. Okay. And then we also have a YouTube channel, North Fremont Herman Basketball, also under NMH Basketball. Okay, awesome. Thanks Great. so much for doing Thanks, this, John. Guys. Good luck today. Thank you very much.